Hi guys, today I'll be showing you the essential things needed to be done um, before you go on to install any mods. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to uh, clarify a few things about the previous tutorial that I forgot to mention. Um, the benefits of using ISOs, um, well, the first thing is that you'll have a permanent backup on your hard drive, and so if, you know, your game is scratched and uh, or damaged, then you won't be able to play the game as the CD won't load, so it's very useful to, to have ISOs of your CDs. The other thing is is that I find that the load times are quicker when I'm using um, ISOs as opposed to the CDs. Um, so that's another very very good benefit. Um, the other thing is, if your happen, if one of your CDs happen to be um, damaged or or anything, then please check the download info section of the website. Um, it will give you some information. Effectively, a link to where you can download the official version and not the ultimate edition. Um, actually, the ultimate edition uh, mods cannot be applied to it because it's. Uh, it's 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 not actually the official one. The files have been changed, um, and so on. So the mods do not actually recognize the launcher. Um, so anyway, today we'll be doing the essential things um, before applying any mods. So if you head to the website and check the mod section out, this is all explained. Also, in case you know you want to refer to it. Um, so the first thing is, um, as in my previous video. Uh, install the official game then what you need to do is you need to download and install the 1.02 official Final Fantasy 7 PC patch which is this one here so download it uh, I'm going to have to download that now so Taking a bit of time. Ah, there, there we are. So yeah, once you've downloaded this patch, um, simply extract it and copy the contents of the extracted file into your root directory. Um, so here we are. This is the 1.02 patch. Just open it and copy the two files, FF7 and FF7 config, <coughs> and put it into your main game directory. So make sure you replace the file. And that's that. Now, the third thing that needs to be done is we need to install Ali's custom graphics driver because all other although this is a mod in itself um, almost all other mods uh, use uh, well in fact require that you have installed this 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 driver so I'll be showing you how to do that in the next video uh, the other thing that you need to do is you need to disable user account control because it seems to cause quite a few problems so if you go to your control panel um, and go to user accounts um, you can turn user account control on or off just here if you see so it's quite simple um, just turn it off and finally I would suggest that you go to your game directory and um, right click on the FF7 EXE file go to properties and compatibility now um, since the game was made you know in 98 um, it's probably best that we run it in compatibility mode since you know it's an outdated game so just check the run this program in compatibility uh, compatibility mode and select windows 98 stroke me and apply and that's that so be sure to do all these things check the next video out um, to ha you know on how to install Ali's custom graphics driver and um, that's it really and you can apply the mods well thanks for watching this video and uh, be sure to check the other videos out if this was useful to you please leave a comment or subscribe and speak to you soon